decision and months. Today's a happy day, it's delivery day. But first I have to get to work and it's uh, 6 o'clock in the morning so yeah, let's unplug and uh, get going, shall we? Sun is shining, it's about 20 degrees or so maybe, not effectively because of the wind, but still, it's a gorgeous day. And uh, yeah, let's head over to Tesla and check in. And uh, let's see, look at this new, uh, look at this new car I've ordered. There it is done, a new car. Uh, it's red, as you can see, obviously because it's kind of obvious. I mean, uh, the previous red one was looked fabulous. This one, yeah, it just looks astonishingly bright in the sunshine. Oh yeah, now. Um, cold seats are on. Uh, we have uh, 68% have to relearn Tesla because this, this this does not exist when I had my car before they, re they changed everything uh, yeah oh yeah it's gonna be nice 10 kilometers okay all right running everything through the buttons because like in the Model S you can adjust everything through the scroll wheel on the on the steering wheel if you want to. It's not quite as intuitive, but it sort of works. I've forgotten how dreadful the view backwards in this car is. It's truly atrociously bad car. Oh a nice an old Porsche, a Targa no less. That's just such a sweet thing in the summer. I'll take the roof off though, because that's a probably a pretty hot potato in there right now. 24 degrees outside, so it's nice and warm in the sun. The pickup experience was very nice. It's uh, very efficient actually. A lot of people at work, you got sent into the office, w went through the app with the last few steps there, got your key, chatted a little bit, got outside. Someone came over and asked, Do you need help? No, chatted a bit. She took a picture of me. And that's nice. And um, yeah, started filming and we're off. So efficient and unlike when I picked up the Model Y, it's not snow. And Drummond is a small service center actually, it's not the biggest, so it's, 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 you can easily find your way around there. So much left to do. Yeah, the phone, the phone, it was all much more through the app now. It's kind of almost self configurating in a way the, the bluetooth connection came on uh, as a as a prompt there's, there's a red one there an old one yeah looks good though i have to get used to this uh get used to the buttons and and and, uh, and stuff of course but we'll, we'll we'll get there the automatic lights are were already already turned on um of course now we have we have uh, we have the uh, we have summertime, so 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 I uh, I won't get up in the middle of the night to test it. Now at least the automatic function of the light with the LED matrix actually works, which is nice. Oh, uh, let's see, where is it? Not activated. Okay, I have to turn the autopilot on, but at least I had that have adaptive cruise. That's good. good. So far, the the uh, indicator buttons is working okay. I admit that 
they're not optimal for roundabouts. But that that depends a little bit on on the roundabout and where you're going and stuff. If it's a bigger roundabout, it sort of can work. But on the smaller ones, which we sometimes have, it's a bit uh, your steering angle is often such that your your buttons aren't where you left them and they're upside down and all that stuff. But, uh, I guess that's how it is. I knew that when I bought it, so it's, uh, I can't exactly complain now, can I? This is a rear wheel drive. By the way, I forgot to mention that. It's a standard range, rear wheel drive. Um, well, why did you... Tesla just dropped their prices. Why did you get um, an all-wheel drive? Long range. And you could have done that. Yeah, that's true, but... Well, I wouldn't have gotten the, um, then I wouldn't have gotten the red collar and stuff because sort of, instead of using my money on more range and more power, I used it on the collar and the towage, which is, I guess that's nice. It's uh, to each its own and all that stuff, I guess. Big numbers though on the screen. They've grown since last, I think. I notice now that they haven't had a new Tesla in a while, so and they have done a few changes on their infotainment system, so it's it's, it's not quite like getting a new car. I'm gonna, not going to say that, but in a way it is, because it's same but different, as it were. Got to mention, uh, we were at sixty, whatever percent, sixty-five or sixty-seven or something like that. Uh, maybe about 60, around 65 somewhere. Now we're at 60 percent. We're averaging um, 147. That's okay. Indicates 217 kilometers. So, but now the car has become so quiet that you lack a little bit of immersion. Sure, but. Considering the price of the car, it's perfectly okay. It, it, it's, it, it's not a bad sound system at all. The previous long range kind of it was a clear and good and detailed, but you lacked a bit of the bass and a bit of the of the lows. Here you have a you have a bass. It's okay. It's just you could could have had even more of it, and you could have had an even more immersive and deeper experience uh, uh, in a way not a deeper experience but more of the deep frequencies low frequencies I mean I don't know how low this one goes but it's okay but it could have been better of course considering again the base price of this car is now around 30, 30 I don't know what it is in euros just to, I can imagine it's around 30,000 euros or something you know what, that's actually, this is actually quite good. It's nippy. Sits good. My finger still goes for the uh, indicator stock. I have to admit that. But, you know what? That's fine, it's a tenth of a second and then you remember, oh yeah, I hit the button now. Okay. <laughs> Of course, you have the region and the, and the smooth um, powertrain, which is Tesla always had. This is just with an average consumption of 113 watt hours over the last 50 kilometers, according to the energy graph. And that indicates 260 kilometers on 50%. And this car with the AT and should be, it's, it's rated at Tesla's website at 553 kilometers or something like that. Uh, and we are at the motorway. Just, just mentioning that. And um, since we picked the car up, we have, we have had a consumption of 120. 
57. Of course, there is a lot of traffic now. Well, that's why I got this car. I knew it was efficient. I love the previous standard range I had. The 2021 model. But uh, like I said, when I test drove the new Model 3, now it's properly... It feels a little bit more... I don't know, sluggish is the right word. But in a way, because of the suspension, it's now... It handles its mass better and it's less... It doesn't crash over bumps and stuff. It's... It's just... It's just um, a well-sorted suspension, so... It feels more refined and quiet. That's taken some of the edge out of the driving experience, but it's not dull and it's not boring and it's still sporty and fun. You just... Don't have to... Um, be reminded of that all the time. But now the traffic is clearing up a little bit. Let's kick it and see what happens. It's not. It's not slow. It's, it, it it has less. No, I think it is about the same power as the previous car. It's a little bit lighter though. Than the previous standard range I had. But that's um, that's good. And they also have a new interior, the materials, it just it looks and feels so much better now. It's a quick end shot here, the day after. This is uh, what it looks like um, in the night. This is the uh, high beam. Looks pretty okay. A little bit shorter than before and more squared off, but it's okay. The, the, the light, um, the LED matrix in and out stuff seems to work very nice. And I found this. If you do, and now you can run basically. This is the closest thing I get to a sub one set with a night panel. You just have the Basic instrumentation here, your basic stuff here. Um, yeah, not nothing, not not too distracting. It's uh, crisp and clear, and it's nice to uh, have in the, when you're driving at night time. So, yeah, all is well. Try and sum it up: the interior quality. I mean, even the door cards here, they're they're clad with. Um, with the cloth on the inside and they're padded on the outside. It's not hard plastic. It could have been because it's a it's a non-touch surface. So you know I wouldn't complain on that. The, the price of the car and everything. The rest of the interior is well, just well put together. It looks much better as well. Um, the steering wheel has. Now, now, where am I? I think that was the wrong indication, maybe, because, well, well, that, that's one these buttons don't necessarily work very well, but okay. The steering wheel has uh, shrunk. I don't think the steering wheel itself has become smaller, but the diameter of the, of the, of the rim is, is now a bit thinner, and that's good. That's very nice. The self-canceling. Indicators work very well, and um, yeah, range. Now since we left, since we left Drummond, we have driven 107 kilometers. We have um, we have used one hour and 24. I mean, it's on that, so it's, it's less than 100 kilometers in average speed. Uh, we've used 128 watt hours per kilometer, and we've used 21.9% doing it. We've, so, if we say around 22%, that should give us an average range of almost 400 kilometers. 
consumption wise now the energy graph says we've used 128 watt hours and it estimates 200 kilometers at 42 percent so i think 40 kilometers minimum should be easily achieved here i'm thinking the previous um uh, the previous car did around 250 kilometers i think on the on the autobahn on a hot day at speed and i think this one if we can get this one up to 300 then you sort of that's okay because then you had a had some hours in the car and you, you can have a short lunch mm. i know the previous car managed 400 kilometers in norway at average the slow norwegian speed i think this one can do even more i think this one can easily get 500 in norway no problem at all so seats are comfortable like i mentioned the sound system is good yeah it's really really become a good car this the changing gear on the screen actually is not a problem that works very well uh, all in all this uh, upgraded materials it's now very quiet suspension is good and it, it looks just the upgraded materials and the light bar running across the uh, entire front fascia of the of the dash there it just brings it all together in a way um, that it sort of hasn't done before and 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 um, yeah, now I completely forgot check the car out when I picked it up. It might, some of you might it's gonna look at it and say, oh you, you you didn't do anything, you just got in the car. Yeah well the charge cables are here probably otherwise I have a supercharging. It doesn't really matter. It, most things will be here. It's all gonna be fine. Now I'm gonna pick up Robert and get some food because I'm really hungry. So that's it for now. A lot more video on the car is coming. We're leaving soon for Europe, going on a vacation. So so so, the, so so that's typical. You get a new car. First thing you do is to put a few thousand kilometers on it. That's it. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.